In this short video, I'm going to actually show you how to actually connect a device onto Intersight. So first of all, we've got to connect into the Intersight website. The first page we see is obviously where we've got some uh, credentials that we need to enter. And here we're going to use our Cisco CCI ID. And we're assuming that since you actually have UCS that you'll have this ID already created. However, you will see there's a link here to be able to send you to create a Cisco ID. Once we've actually logged in, we'll actually be presented obviously with an overview and of a licensing agreement that we need to accept. After reading that, I accept that and move into the next phase. On this account creation, obviously there's an account name and device IDs that we need to actually claim with. These are actually presented from the UCS equipment that we have on-prem. To get these, we actually log into the Cisco UCS manager, for example, when we're looking at a fabric interconnect. I'll just jump across to that now and grab those details. Within UCS Manager, we go to the actual admin tab and then we can drill down to the device connector. And as we can see within UCS Manager at the moment, it's not currently turned on. We can see here in the right hand side of the panel that we've got the device connector has access to the internet or doesn't, and then the connection into the Intersight Cloud. So first of all, we need to turn this on. As we can see, it's starting to go through the process of being able to talk to the internet. Now, once that green line from the device connected to the internet has been valid, we'll see that we'll have a device ID in the right-hand side, and we'll also have a claim code. We'll use these to go back into the Intersight portal. I'm just going to add a test name or an account name. Add in the device ID. Grab the claim code. And then select create. This will just take a couple of minutes as they start to be connected into Intersight. Straight away we see that now we've got a successful green tick, which is a good thing. When we go back into UCS Manager and we do a refresh, we now see that we've got the device connector, internet and connection into Intersight. As you would notice, you now got a device ID on the right hand side, but the claim code's now gone missing. It should be noted that these actually time out, so they will roll over and they don't last a lifetime. For further information, please uh, log on to data3.com or contact your account manager. Thank you.